Do not be afraid or frightened of them. The Lord God goes with you. He will never abandon you nor forsake you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 That's the reason in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4 and 5, God told. God told one verse. Hear, O Israel. Now he is telling each and every one of you. Hear, my dear young people, vibrant people, energetic and talented, gifted people. Please listen to me. Hear, O oh my people, O oh my brothers and sisters, O oh my young ones. The Lord God is one God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There is only one God. And you shall worship the Lord God with your whole heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And we have come to worship God. Worship the Lord at all times. That is our strength. Worshiping of God. And why do we worship God? Why do we pray? Why do we attend Sunday services? Why do we sing? We sing devotional hymns. What is the purpose? We do a lot of prayers. We spend a lot of time in silence. The only reason why we pray, why we have a lot of devotional practices, the only reason is that we may experience the presence of God. Hallelujah. 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 We may experience the presence of the Lord. We may enter into the presence of the Lord. And if we have the presence of God, we have everything that we need. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Psalm 121 Verse 1 and 2 says, I look up to the mountains from where my help shall come. And the voice said to me, Your help shall come from God who made the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. My name is Sir Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jesus, our God, is the one who helps us. The God from whom we can receive help. I can get up early in the morning and look up the mountain in utmost helplessness. And I can say, my help will come from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Everything that we have, every technological things that we have, every development that we admire, every scientific invention, nothing has been created by man. Everything from this earth. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everything that has that beginning from this earth. Is there anything that has not connected with the earth? Is there anything that is not connected with this earth? Handful of mud, let us say. Nothing. Everything has emerged from the earth. And who created this earth? Who has, who has done so? So we humans may take so much of pride and we may say that God is again in Psalm Psalm number 15 verse 1 says Fools says that there is no God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
So they are not fools, right? They are not fools. We never say, we never deny God. As youth, we never deny God. We are a force for God. We are a force for good. So we don't deny the existence of God. Because we are godly people. And we are all living in God's presence. Hallelujah. 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 Let us seek God's presence. Where can I hide from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? The psalmist would say, we cannot escape from God's presence. Because God is almighty. All powerful God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Yes. And it is because of Jesus that all of you are gathered here. And you know who God is. And you know who God is and who is Jesus Christ. And in the book of, in the gospel of John chapter 1 verse 18, we read that this Jesus who is only begotten son, who is at the bosom of the father, has made him known. So who is God? And who has made this God known to each one of us? It is none other than Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus is our God. Jesus is a mighty God. And from the moment beginnings, God had been preparing for this Jesus to come to this earth. And God is so loving and caring for us. And the greatest news that we can deliver and we have been receiving was that salvation is available for all. All of us can be saved. In the Gospel of John chapter 17, verse 3, we do read, This is eternal life. To know you, the one true God, and Jesus, whom you have sent. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can issue. I can be from a puni. Correct, no? Yes. He is the Savior. He is the only one who can save us. And that's why we celebrate His life. That's why we want to imitate his life. That's the reason why we want to realize him in our life. That's why the reason we have gathered. And the God from the beginning of time, he had been always active in the world. Very few people may realize it. Very few people may understand it. Because we have no time, because we are always on the go. But God said through Jeremiah, Chapter 10, verse 10. I'm a true and living God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I be a Yeshua, a Shebani, and a Chumbani. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And God knows. God knows everything that is going on. God knows even the thoughts of you. And Psalm 94 says that God, thought, God knows the thoughts of men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hi, hallelujah. 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 So God knows everything that happens. And everything that is going on around us, He knows. Because God knows and He is our light and our salvation. Psalm 27 verse 1 would say, The Lord is my light and my salvation. He is the stronghold of my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are not in a shaky ground. We are on a strong ground. Strong and solid ground we are. And where is that light? In Jesus. And where is that light? In Jesus. And that's the reason Jesus said in John chapter 14 verse 6 I am the way the truth and the life. 
and no one can come to the father yes that's it nobody can that's why the greatest news that ever in the world is with the christians the followers of jesus no one can go to god without that door called jesus Stand for Jesus, stand for your faith. Not only just get caught up with the technological uh, distractions, but really be alert and awakened to God and God's face. And the church needs you, needs each of you. Every one of you, all are needed for this cause. To stand up for a cause. And the cause is God and His church. Will you be? Yes. Thank you so much. And thank you for this opportunity. And I am really pleased and grateful to each of you. Okay? Thank you. And may God's blessings continue to descend upon you. Okay? Thank you.